It was in 1988. I was at work at NBC4, which is a TV station here in Columbus, Ohio, and it was a regular day and I felt fine until I collapsed on the floor for no apparent reason. I was out cold, according to my coworkers. Um, they could not find a pulse. They said I was unconscious. And so five of my coworkers came to my aid and gave me CPR, one right after another. Those five people had to give me CPR for a really long time in order to keep my heart rate going and to keep me alive. Um, people asked, does CPR work? I said, I'm living proof. That was in 1988, and I'm still here. Had those people not been there to give me CPR, I wouldn't be here today. But then the beauty of that was, I ended up at Ohio State, where I really got the care that I needed. There was only one doctor, his name is Dr. Stephen Shaw, who was an electrophysiologist at the time, meaning he specializes in arrhythmia, which is what they finally diagnosed was my problem. My heart had gone into ventricular tachycardia and it sped up so much that no blood got to my brain and my heart would flutter instead of beat, and it caused me to be unconscious. And had no one been there, I probably would have died. When he saw me, um, and I was in the hospital for quite a long time, he goes, you know, you had a strong heart muscle, and I knew that once we got your rhythm under control that you'd be okay. And I felt, and told him the gratitude I felt, that he was here, one of the only electrophysiologists, if not the only EP doc in Central Ohio, that I was able to connect with him. So I feel really safe to live here in Central Ohio, and I joke with my husband, but it's not really a joke. I go, we are not leaving <laughs> Columbus. We're not gonna be those people that moved to Florida or anything. We are gonna stay right here, where I am here with my doctors. Since 1988, um, I've felt pretty good, and everything that's happened is fixable. Even if I have other issues, I had a valve repair, um, and so that was open heart surgery, but I bounced back. I had ablation issues because I had different types of arrhythmia that have popped up. But I, I always feel like I can find the person in Ohio State who can take care of those problems. I'm one lucky person, one lucky person. There's really not anything that I don't do that is different than anybody else. And I think that is, you know, it says something about being able to not just live, but live a healthy, happy, fulfilled life. You can do anything.